Hey guys, it's me Shadow, and um, today I have a little tip for you guys. Um, pretty much something that everyone should look into doing once they're done with their main character. Um, what I'm talking about is coming here through the advancement test desk. Um, I talk about this sometimes. Mainly if you want to complete all the expert missions, you're going to need maximum charge, which is the last Reading. skill you can um, achieve from here. But if you get a Z rank on every single, you know, expert or not expert test, but um, final advance advancement test, excuse me. <laughs> but um, if you do that, um, you get this final test, and um, it's super class. And what this does is it gives you the chance to fight Pen, Jocko, Broly, and Barris because they're never gonna be on the same team. Because all of them just are so different. I mean, I really don't know why they are the lineup. But if you look right here, <clears throat> potential unleashed. Yeah, okay, so that's the main point of this video that I wanted to get across. Um, I don't know about the time controller suit. I don't honestly know if it's like a different one. But um, potential unleashed is a skill that can be used by any class. So... Whether you're a Majin, a, a Namek, a, a Freezer Race, or Arcosian, as we used to call it, and and or Saiyan or Human, um, it can be used by any class. So once you're done, once you get a good way through the game and you complete all of the advancement tests, go ahead and get a Z score on them. You know, you're going to have to try. Um, there's a few tip videos on how to get Z ranks. I'm not going to make one because there's like a bunch of people with them. But if you want, you can look into it. If you want to know, um, you just got to use your ultimate. You need to transform. You need to um, get combos. You need to throw people three times. And you need to get an ultimate finish. You know, you need to kill them with a finisher. But um, that's just the gist of it on how to get a Z-Ring. But yeah, do that. Get all the Z-Rings and get Potential Unleashed. Because it's generally, depending on the type of build you are, it could be a better transformation than, say, the Flying Nimbus. I mean... I like the power pole, but um, honestly, like, look, this is all I can really do. I can run up to my enemy, I do a, a good amount of damage, and, you know, pretty much a whole combo in that little bit of time, and then, yeah, I can stretch it and hit him, if I walk up, I can just, I can, you know, there's a few th different things I can do with it, but in combat online there are a lot of people who know how to get around it all you have to do if you want to attack someone with a flying nimbus is grab them and it knocks them right off of course they can get right back on and there really is no downside to the flying nimbus but um you know it's really not that great of a transformation i don't know about the Majin race how it's looking but um of course it, it could be an alternative to how the transformation works and of course i've ho heard about the dynamics um and their transformation being nerf so basically what potential unleash does is it gives you a stat boost pretty much re relatively close to jesus christ what is he doing but um relatively close to what kaioken does um it doesn't really boost your supers from what i know too much it's nothing like super vegeta but um basically boost all your stats and the best thing about it is it can, it can be used by any class so once you beat the game with one class and for some reason right now we have to be once you beat the game with one class you need to come back to your alternative characters say you have a human and you beat the game you have to do the same thing with a freezer race and a namek and a earthling and you know so on and so forth so a good way to make this easier on yourself is getting potential unleashed um what that'll do is it'll give your all of your characters the opportunity to use Potential Unleashed. And the best thing about it is the fact that it can be used right off the bat. It's a good stat boost right from the beginning of the game. So, you know, you can breeze through a lot of the story pretty easily, along with all, all the other skills you've unlocked. Now, this opposed to other transformations. Um, in my opinion... It is better than Kaioken. The reason it's better than Kaioken is because Kaioken takes up stamina. And if you know anything about this game, Kaioken, I mean Kaioken, stamina is very, very, very important. It is like the focal point of this game. Like, if you don't have, wow, he has a lot of health. If you don't have, um, not really, um, 
Anyways, getting back to the main point, if you don't have a lot of stamina, you're gonna be running into problems. You know, at the same time, if you have as much stamina as Lord Barriers, you're gonna be pretty screwed, you know, if somebody breaks your stamina, per se, but, um, that all depends on how you fight and how safe you are. And he is smart. Ooh, he missed it. That was just barely missed. And he tried to hit it again. And he's hitting this now. Anyways, um, getting back to the main point. Yeah, so Potential Unleash is relatively the same as, say, Kaioken. And, you know, that being said, it's gonna do a, a lot of work for you. And oh my god, no. Oh, I hate this move. But they nerfed it. It's another thing that got nerfed in the update. Look at that. Ha, I broke your stamina too. Anyways, um... Getting back to the main point. Yeah, Potential Unleashed, I believe it's better than Kaioken in my opinion. Because, you know, you need stamina. You're not gonna get... You're not gonna have a good time if you don't have any stamina, you know. You're gonna be like Lord Beerus and you're gonna be getting dragon fisted all over the place. And you, I'm sure someone's gonna call me out on how dirty that said sounded. But anyways, I'm getting back to the main point. Yeah, you're... Okay, it's a five star. And there you go, I got the skill. So anyways, I believe it's better than Power Pole Pro. But, um... Want to be the next god. Okay, I got a trophy. I don't know what it's about. But anyways, I believe it's better than Power Pole Pro, but because in my in my opinion, it really doesn't do that much for you. Um Maybe I get something else if I get a Z for all those. But anyways, it's not really the best skill. All it does is, you know, gives me the ability to ride a po po the power pole. That would sound really dirty, but, um, the Flying Nimbus, and riding the Flying Nimbus is faster than normal, but it still uses up stamina, which would be the same from Potential Unleashed, but, um, the only other thing is, it really doesn't have anything that's too special about it, you know, you have different combos, you have a decent amount more range, but... Like I said, if somebody teleports around you and they grab you, you're knocked right off of it. And nine times out of ten, they're going to follow up with a combo. And, you know, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to need to figure out a way to get out of that situation. But, um, yeah. So, for now, I'll be trying Potential Unleashed. I'll probably make a video on which is the better transformation for some classes. I'd probably agree that Super Saiyan is the best transformation for Saiyans, of course, because... You know, it's pretty much the same thing as Potential Unleashed. It gives you a stat boost. But, um, you know, I'd have to go in-depth and go into training mode and look at the stats and everything for Potential Unleashed, Melee, Super Saiyan Melee, Super Vegeta Melee's, you know, so on and so forth. But, um, yeah, so if you see Unleash your latent abilities for a massive power-up, this mode can charge key quicker and than other modes. Now, that's not the only thing it does. Um, the higher your key when you transform, the greater power up, but it'll also become a great burden, so watch out. Fly, fight with a flying Nimbus and power pole, but if you get hit, you'll lose them. You know, it really doesn't say anything too much, you know? And, of course, you can only use this as a human. But, um, yeah, I'll be using that from now on, but getting back to the main point. Alright, so this is my Arcosian character, or Frieza Ray's character, um, look at him laugh. His name is Nova, um, nothing too crazy about him. I wanted him to be the opposite of most of them, you know, they're based on the refrigerator and or freezer, you know, of course. But anyways, if we come here to his skill set, he's mainly a, a key based character. Um, look, he's using Kaioken right now, but we have Potential Unleashed, um, Yes, I'm going to take Potential Unleashed over Kaioken because Kaioken is pretty much a do or die skill. It's literally what it is in the anime and if something goes wrong, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, so I'm going to recommend using Potential Unleashed. Now, that being said, I don't know about the Freezer Ace transformation. I haven't gone too in depth with it. 
and I don't know how things are looking, but um, from what I know at the moment, there's nothing too crazy about it. They have death beams and whatnot, but I haven't unlocked it, and that's the main point. Seeing that I don't have his transformation unlocked, why am I going to leave him without a transformation or a Kaioken, you know? You can always say, oh, Kaioken is better, Kaioken is this and that, but um, honestly, I'm settling on the fact that Potential Unleashed is better than Kaioken. And it can be used on any character. Um, I'll even go to my other characters now to show you guys, just in case. Alright guys, so this is Kohaku. Um, she is my Majin race character. Um, she's incomplete, you know, she's she's a level 3. She doesn't have proper clothing and, and or other stuff. But um, if you come into her skills... Wait, nope, wrong thing. Skills. You'll see she's using Kaioken like Nova. We don't want to use Kaioken, we want Potential Unleashed. It is a better transformation. It is better than Kaioken in only one really big way, honestly. <laughs> the fact that it doesn't eat up stamina really makes it so, you know, that's the way you want to go. And that's the main point I wanted to get across in this video. Any class can use this transformation. Anyone can have their Potential Unleashed. And just remember that when you're going through the character, the character the game on your second character you know um don't bother with kaioken and until you get their specific transformation for their race um just don't worry about it you know if you'll be okay without a transformation but anyways yep that'll do it for this oh my god i can't talk to you i'm sorry <sighs> But yeah, that'll do it for this video today. Um, I'm probably gonna go train. I don't know who I can train with still. Probably Lord Slug. Seeing that I'm planning on making an Amekian character soon and I have to use this purple thing. I mean pink, cause I can't fly! Yay! Anyways, bye guys. I'll catch you later.